All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So you're probably looking at the title and you're like, really, Daniel? Yeah, people. Yes. Thug life, because I'm a thug now, all right? I'm going to tell you the story. And you'll be like, yeah, Daniel, straight gangster up in here. And I'll be like, damn straight. Damn fucking straight. So <laughs> the start of this story is actually funny. I got stopped by the police. I know. I know. What? What? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. And before you ask, yes, he was white. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm still alive. I didn't get shot. I didn't get shot. Okay, that's going too far. But uh, yes, yes, I did get stopped by. Uh, not really meta. Not really meta. Even using some. Uh, uh, okay, okay. You will quit then. He's like no meta. I'm like I'm using DDD. Like, uh, all right, sure. Sure, I mean, I'm not leaving, you leave. I'm not leaving. I'm just gonna keep playing until you leave. You know? Like, you said no meta. Okay, no meta. I'm playing DDDs, and I'm playing OCG cards at that, so how the fuck is that meta? Like, there ain't nothing meta about this whole situation, so I'm, I'm chill. I'm chill. If you wanna leave, you can leave, but I'm, I'm okay for right now. I'm okay for right now. Ah, uh, you know what? Yeah, I should say, never mind, I didn't do that play wrong. I did the play fine, I just could've probably done something different. So I'll go ahead and summon Howling. Uh, I'm still terrible with DDDs, if you're wondering. Yeah, I'm still a complete ass. It's one of the main reasons why I had to turn the dislike bar off, because I am I apologize. I apologize that I'm so fucking just terrible with this deck that I can't do anything right with it. Like, I really can. Uh, uh, I guess sending uh, Lamia wouldn't be too terrible. Yeah, I can send Lamia. Yeah. Yeah, send Lamia. Then I can go ahead and synchro summon into you. And I, I see, I, I get the Copernicus. I get it, I get it. I can only summon fiend type monster, so I can't go into crystal mess, but I can go ahead and use you. I can just say, uh, well, I kind of want you. I kind of want to say screw you. I kind of am good when it comes to send it to the graveyard. Then I'll go ahead and activate Alexander, who can summon Copernicus again, but I think I only get your effect once per turn. I think I get all your effects only once per turn, so... So... Yeah, you can only use the effect of Copernicus once per turn. You won't do anything unless I plan on sick or something, which I don't, so... I mean, like I said, I'm not really getting much out of this play right here, but screw it. You're gonna give me a free monster? I guess I'll take a free monster, and I guess I'll go ahead and go into, uh... Uh, Mr. Alexander. Yeah, I'd rather keep her. <coughs> so yeah, Thug Life, Thug Life. So, uh, yesterday, being Tuesday, uh, I was going down to the center, like, I do pretty much every Tuesday and Thursday now, switched our days, uh, driving, uh, Melvin's car, because my car is pretty much done, I know I haven't really talked about it, I've been so busy talking about, you know, the ban list and all that, that I didn't really get to talk to you guys about what's up with my life, uh, the past week, but yeah, my car, I don't know, like, at pretty much at this point, I need to get a new car, we're planning on getting one with, you know, income tax and stuff like that, uh, it, it's just got to the point where the repairs cost more than the car's value, you know? It's, it's, it's actually got to that point. So, uh, uh, I guess I'll give him until four minutes, and if he doesn't do anything, I'll quit. Like, you know. Because this guy still seemed really reluctant, but I was like, you know, you're going to quit, you're going to leave? And he was like, no, you quit, you leave. Why should I quit and leave? You said no meta, I'm playing DDDs. Like, you know, I'm, you act like I'm coming at you with Monarchs or PP or Cosmos, like... What do you mean by no meta? He didn't even specify. Now, if he said, like, no, nothing higher, you know, no tier 2 or higher, then I wouldn't even touch them. Because I think that, you know, DDDs are potentially strong enough to be tier 2. That's, that's, you know? And like, even that is subjective. But you said absolutely, you said no meta. In what meta is DDDs meta? You know, I think they did a little bit in the OCG. Maybe a little bit as a kind of anti-meta to the top tier deck. But I think I saw made them top, like, maybe once here in the TCG. So... If that, and I'm playing OCG cards, so whatever. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so it was going down to the center like we always do. Cars just complete. Uh, I think it needs like, like maybe I want to say like a thousand dollars worth of material and repair, and then uh, labor will be like five hundred. So it's like fifteen hundred plus dollars to repair the car. My car is not even worth that much. It's really not. You know, it served its its price. It it's got me around for the last, yeah, I'd say about two three years, and you know that that's good enough for me. It really is. So 
Uh, we're still trying to figure out what we got to do. We got to register it this month in February, so we're still debating on whether we're going to register it. Uh, as of right now, it's still drivable, but at this current moment, it, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's the alternator or what, but it just drains the battery. Like, the battery died. Then we took the battery back. It, 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 the battery was in there for at least, I want to say, one or two years. So, all right, it's time to get a new battery. Take the battery back. We had a five-year warranty. Get a new battery. Put it in the car. The car's working fine for, like, I'd say two or three weeks, and then drained again. So I think it might be the alternator just draining the shit out of the battery. Uh, but yeah, we, we, the battery is just kaput and we haven't, and I guess we could go ahead and take it back, the battery back and, you know, rinse and repeat, but I'm not sure how many times we can take it back in our warranty, but you know, it's just been sitting there for, I at least want to say two weeks, just dead. Like I, I have like, you know, electric locks, all that, alarm, all that. And even when you hit the button and it goes beep, beep to unlock. It won't even do that, you know. When the day when we uh, noticed that it was just dying, you know, it stuck the key in the ignition, and all all the the panels were dim, and it, it, it usually it would give like a really sound beep, like enough to you know that it's beeping, you know, like beep beep. But when when we press the button to uh, that day, it was just like beep beep, all quiet, like it's like oh, I guess it's out of energy again. So. I don't know, so I guess my opponent's just gonna go ahead and quit. <laughs> I mean, all he had to do was just quit, and I guess he thought that I was gonna, you know, leave because he was gonna time out. Like, no, no, you're gonna take the loss, so get another duel. That man was too salty. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna be doing something with the car. <laughs> something. Something with it. <laughs> uh, I dropped the Lilith down to one because some people say that Lilith's not good. Lilith's okay. Uh, with Howling, I can, you know, do the whole plays like that, you know, target something, get it back, because I'm going to be reviving Lilith with Howling, but, uh, I don't need three. I really don't, you know? I have that one Lilith, she's in the graveyard, I revive her when I need to. It's simple as that. But, uh, besides that, uh, <laughs> we're just going to be, uh, playing with that. It's actually one card, a tech card that I wanted to try out, and I know, you're like, what? You're trying shit out on DVDs? You're fucking garbage with it, so I don't even know why you're trying shit out. Damn! Alright? Calm the fuck down, people! <laughs> Uh, there's, there's something I want to try, so we're going to try it. Uh, like I said, I had to use Howling, so I'm not sure if I can pull this off. And that's the thing. Uh, I, I I have Crystal Meth. You can pull off Crystal Meth in here. But if you do it the Howling route, where you can only summon Fiend-type monsters, you can't do it anymore. And I, that's one of the things that definitely sucks. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to go ahead and take it slow. I'm going to do my one-for-one. One, pitch Copernicus, because I can revive Copernicus. Summon uh, uh, Kepler. Kepler, get the search on. And... Kepler search just great. Like you get that Kepler search and the ball gets rolling with this deck, and I love it. I really do. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to search. I kind of want to get uh, my Covenant card because I might want to pitch the pop next turn because I have a feeling that he's gonna go ahead and try to Infinity me, and I'm gonna be like, no, thank you, sir. <laughs> no, thank you, ma'am. So I can go ahead and summon Night Howling. Uh, Night Howling could go ahead and uh, uh, go into you know Copernicus place. I could go into Alexander this turn, too, so that might not be too, too, too terrible. Uh, going, I mean, not Alexander, I'm going to go into Alexander. Uh, Siegfried. Could go into Siegfried. Send Lamia, then go ahead and uh, Synchro Shell. Oh, I can just go into Siegfried now. <laughs> Duh. Uh, I, I can just use him. I don't need to go on. If I go into Alexander, then I would have to use Lamia. Lamia would put something together, I guess Lilith, and summon itself back, which would mean that I would get the revival of one of these three, which is not too great, so yeah, I guess I'll just go into Siegfried right now. Yeah. And they, and never mind, it wouldn't even be this, it'd just be Night Howling, because those would go back to x when I sink or something, so never mind. So we'll just go ahead and hopefully fuck you up, and uh, if you have that Honest, play the Honest, and I'm fucked either way, because that's just Honest for you. <laughs> and, Hey, if you're gonna play honest, play honest, but I think you'd rather have your core in the graveyard. So there you go. So I can go ahead and negate his searcher card, and I can pop even if he pulls off the infinity or the. Oh, I wouldn't let you get to infinity. I would stop at Nova, play the dark contract, pitch Lilith, and pop your monster. So no, 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 no. And yeah, that is the perfect negate because I do not want you to get a plus off of that. No, thank you. I know the searchy that infinity does. So no. So that's one part of the plan broken, right there. Anyway, uh, so we are heading down to the center like we usually do every Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, <laughs> we actually went a little bit earlier than we usually did because we dropped Mom off and then uh, picked up uh, friend Fonzo. You might know him as Blue in the 
streams or in the comment section. Uh, that's my friend Fonzo. <laughs> uh, so we left a little bit early, and with leaving a little bit early, uh, I'm driving the car like usual down the street. A lot, of, ton of cops out. You know, for the er for the beginning of the month, seems like they didn't make their quota, which is fine. You know, doing your thing. We saw a ton of cops, like a butt ton of cops. Definitely seems like he's playing his uh, his uh, his Infinity Dot Deck. So <laughs> his Cyber Dragon Dot Deck. I can't even. Say I don't want to say Infinity Dot Deck because it's, uh, it seems kind of rude. Because you know, he might just be playing Cyber Dragons. Oh, he's just gonna bop, pop, bop, bop. He's gonna bop it. What is this freaking uh, uh, fanboy and chum chum? <laughs> Bop, bop my card. Uh, I guess I can still chain it, activate it, and pitch and pop. So that's not too terrible. I'm not really about worried about this, but I'm not really worried about his monsters either. You know, I'm not sure if he's gonna set anything else this turn. Cause it's still, yeah. I, I, I mean, I still want to go ahead and uh, pitch the pop. It's not too terrible. Uh, Cyber Dragon's kind of a threat. Core's kind of a threat. Back row's kind of a threat. But of course, the creed can negate. So that's not too terrible. So I guess I'll go ahead and uh, bop the Cyber Dragon. And then, of course, I lose my Covenant, which is fine, which is fine. So, like uh, I said, uh, I can still go ahead and do all my plays, all my negates, so we're still good, we're still good. Still good, still good. Uh, and go ahead and summon uh, Kepler once again. Kepler, get your search on. No, no. <laughs> I almost clicked the wrong effect. Oh my god, you guys would have fucking crucified me. I almost fucked it up. I really did. I almost fucked it up. Uh, like I said, I would love to get Valkyrie again, but I'm just not sure. Just because I really would like to get my Searcher card on. So that, that's the big one. That's the big one. But, you know, the big threat of this deck is Infinity. It really is. So I'm going to go ahead and get another uh, Covenant with Val with the Valkyrie again. Now, I'm not really planning on doing much. I already normal summoned. Uh, so I guess I'll just go ahead and attack his Mr. Cyber, uh, his Mr. Uh, Core again. Simple as that. <laughs> it's handling this deck. This, uh, this, uh, this back row popping, this uh, handling it. I mean, flip up your back row if you want. I'm just going to negate it anyway. Cause I'm kind of like a pseudo Shien. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> ah, there's the Honest. So I was like, oh yeah, here comes Honest, right? Ah, oh, fucking Honest. I hate you. You, 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 oh, you are a piece of shit, Honest. God. <laughs> Seriously, I hate Honest so much. It just jumps out the bushes and stabs Honest you for no test. reason. Honest is that too. Seriously. Approved. It don't need to go no farther, though. No, no. If all this goes to three, I'll be fucking mad as fuck. Be like, I'm never going to attack a light monster again. Like, it's I, it's I just... the risk. Hey, hey. Kalu is at three, isn't it? Are you afraid to attack black wings? Yes! I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I, tell, I tell all black wing players, I give no fucks that you got three clues. I attack rigorously. <laughs> and I still win. I was say. Fuck you, Kalu. And same thing with Honest. I say hell fucking yes, cause God, I, I just hate it. Come, like unless you have something that can negate monster effects, you're gonna get it, and it's just like God damn it, you, you don't even see it. At least black wings, they can kind of tell, cause they're generally gonna search it or something like that. But honest, it's just, always <laughs> honest. It's just like damn it, <laughs> God damn it, Bobby. Ah, uh, traps done. Sure, I guess. <laughs> I mean, that's less of things that I gotta worry about. Now, the only, th literally, the only thing I gotta worry about is if you have a second honest. See, and that's what I don't like. That I gotta worry that you have a second honest. That is some straight booty sauce. I shouldn't have to worry that if you have a second honest or not. That's the risk. God, God damn it. Anyway, uh, lots of cops out, and uh, <laughs> just driving down the street like usual, and then all of a sudden, just woo! Like, oh shit! And then, and then he was like, wait, is that us? Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. And I was like, I think so, because he was directly behind us. Uh, he didn't, you know, speak into a speak or anything. Just got over. We were on the far left lane, so we had to get all the way over. On arguably a, a major street in the city. So it was kind of still, even at 5, 4, 5, 5 to 6 o'clock in the morning, it was still pretty crowded. So, uh, got over, <laughs> you know. Uh, you know, thug life over here. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I knew what to do. I knew I knew how to handle the situation. I wasn't, I was I wasn't scared. I wasn't scared. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> but I was like, I've never been in this situation before, Renny, what I do, you know? And, you know, uh, Renny Haynes gangsters me. He was like, go ahead, just, you know, turn the car off. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, of course, did that. Turned the car off and roll down the window. Up, roll down the window. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and summon you. No, I don't need to summon you. I'll just summon you. Because I'm, I'm about to summon back uh, 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 Siegfried anyway. So, yep, summon you. Let's say just go in. Just go in because he kind of fucked himself, so. 
So we'll go ahead and summon you. You will go off. Summon you back. Am I doing the plays right? I'm probably still not, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go ahead and attack. I could summon Lamia by pitching something. I guess I should just go... Oh, he's just going to surrender. I was about to say, I don't have any things for uh, my dark contract anymore, so I'm just going to go ahead and go uh, Lamia, put you in the graveyard, summon you, and then I could go ahead and go into uh, Crystal Meth. Because I don't think I was restricted this turn. I don't think so. If anything, I could just make another Sigfrey if I am restricted with uh, Oracle King and Lamia. No, wait, it has to be a, a Synchro Monster, right? Yeah, it has to be a Synchro Monster, so it has to be Alexander. My bad, my bad, I'm already fucking up, I'm not even dueling. So I guess I could bust out another Siegfried, but I think I probably want to keep Oracle King just to gain that 2,000, but yeah. Just attack, 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 you don't have the Honest, fuck you, so, awesome. Alright, uh, get another dueling, yeah. Alright, so, uh, cop pulled us over, uh, and it happened to be that he was one of them nice cops. Good, thank God, you know, we were a car full of black people, you know. We kind of got fucked the fuck up. Oh, here's the card that I wanted to actually uh, uh, test out. So, it's called Pendulum Rising. I target one monster I control and send it to the graveyard. Alright. Special summon from my main deck one Pendulum monster with the same level as the sent monster with, uh, with its original level, but destroyed during the Iron Phase. So, pretty much, I'm running... And I know I'm probably bad for this, but it also helps with this. I'm running three Lamia. I want to get Lamia and do my Synchro Summon plays. Three Lamia. Of course, three... Uh, 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 Necrosime, it's also level 1, so uh, if I draw into one of those, which for some reason I did in this, can, this turn, I can pretty much exchange those for a Kepler, get to search. And you're probably wondering, like, oh, well, why don't you play Wherefore Art Thou? It's because I have to have the level 1 monster on the field, then play Wherefore Art Thou, get to search, and if I don't know some of that monster, I'm going to take the burn damage. This, I just switch it, you know, I switch it. So, I think, it, especially, uh, just for this situation, just for Kepler, I think that this situation is actually better. So, uh, I think I'll go ahead and just do the classic plays, the one-for-one. One. I really don't need Leo right now. Uh, and summon Kepler. So, I got Kepler out the ass right now. And, and you know what? Kepler gets the ball rolling. Like, you, you, you can't argue about that. So, uh, I guess I'll go ahead... <coughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me. And, uh, uh, get my, uh, gates. Yeah, I'll get my gates, just in case shit hits the fan. Uh... I'll go ahead and activate gates, but who do I want to search for? That's the question. I guess I want to search for a Necro Slime or Lamia, something I want to do. Yeah, Necro Slime. Then I'll go ahead and fuse Slime with Necro Slime into Oracle King. It seems like a like a fun play. All right, now I'm only playing th uh, two, two Pendulum Rising, uh, trying to get the ratio right. So, so you two into that, and uh, uh, like I said, I could. I would have to get rid of my Dark Contract, but I could go into Fresh Turn Sick Free, but I think I'm going to keep it like that for right now. I'm not sure what I want to Foolish right now, so I'll hold on to it. And, uh, yeah, take it slow. Take it slow. Uh, as long as this is on the field next turn and my opponent just doesn't completely wipe my field and crush my butt. Or I'll get a <laughs> I mean, I mean, even that's fine. As long as this is okay, I can still come back. Because I can just go ahead, play Dark Contract, search for uh, Ragnarok, Slime, Banish, Summon Ragnarok, Ragnarok, Summon back my Oracle King. So I'd still be good. And it looks like we're going against uh, Rogue Challenger, so... Uh, he's gonna beat stick the shit out of Yeah, I mean, it, it clearly looks like he's, he just has a whole bunch of his heroic challengers. He's gonna go ahead and go into ROM, and I'm not gonna be able to play. Uh, <laughs> so it's like playing uh, Ignites. <laughs> the thing that you can put like five to it and Yeah, all the see materials and just fuck me up, make sure I can't play. So, uh, anyway, continuing the story, we had a nice, we had a nice officer. Uh, instead of just, you know, uh, you know, license registration, all that shit, all that jazz, he actually came up and he was like, you know, your, uh, your, uh, headlights are off. I was like, no, I did not know that. Yep, yep, went into ROM. So he did three. So this card is unaffected by other card effects, gains uh, 1,500 attack and defense, and cannot be destroyed battle. So at least he didn't do three. I mean, four. Because that four is just like, god damn it. Like, I didn't want to play anyway and just locked out of this fucking duel. <laughs> yeah. Take all that burn damage, which is fine. Uh, so he is unaffected by other card effects. So I can't touch him. And I don't believe that I can bust out something that's higher than 3,000 this turn off the top of my head. I don't think so. I think I can summon him and crash, but he can't be destroyed by the battle, so. <clears throat> it might be best just to take the duel a little bit slow. You know, I'm not really in a hurry. I'm really not. Uh, yeah, let's we'll just go ahead and uh, activate search me uh, you. Yeah, exactly. Do the same exact play that I, was talk that I talked about before. Uh, and just hold on to my resources and take the duel slow. Especially since he can't be touched right now. So, summon you. Defense mode with that 3000 booty. Activate you. We'll go ahead and summon you. 
in defense mode, and if I said if you want to kill someone, kill someone, then I'm just going to go ahead and get in that life points either or, because I got my, my card still. So, right now, I'm sitting okay. <laughs> this card's not doing much right now, just because I'm having things, so you're going to detach, which means that now you are affected by card effects, so, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not sure what I'll do with you now since you're affected by card effects, but, uh, you still can't be a show by battle, and... Right now, you're still 3,000, so that's still pretty difficult for the situation I'm in right at this moment. I may let you detach one more exceeding trail. Uh, so, yeah, apparently the headlights weren't on. Uh, there's actually a switch. And, you know, my, if we were driving my car, my headlights are always on. This is probably another reason why my battery is just because you're running out. There's no turning off my headlights. They're always on. My car is pretty old. It's a 97, so pretty old. While, uh, okay, so you're going to kill him, kill him? That's fine. You can have that done when I'm mad at <laughs> It's really not. Because <laughs> I might just go ahead and uh, do something this turn. Something real serious. So take a thousand again. I'm taking them seriously. I'm taking that burn damage. Uh, now, if I get another round. Oh, wow. He's just going to flip a vanity's emptiness. All right. Well, that's irritating. <laughs> that really is. Goddamn vanity's emptiness. <laughs> Uh, I could just go into attack mode attack over him, but I'm still okay. You're going to detach another Xuma material and drop down to 15. You can't special summon, so I'm sitting okay. I got a 3,000 booty. I'm not going to allow you to burn me out, but it's just fucking vanities. Uh, we are driving Melon's car, and I thought, you know, I clicked the, the light, the switch. It's like, it's like you have your desk lights on, and you have your, like, you, if you pull all the way, you have your headlights on. I didn't know that. And usually I flip it all the way, but for some reason this day I didn't. And so I had my desk lights on, but I didn't have the headlights on, and, uh, officer pulled us over for that, you know. Uh, so, turned on the car, showed him that, yes, the headlights work, so we're not, you know, driving illegally. Uh, he was like, oh, you know, uh, where are you guys going? You know, center, we're going down to the center like we always do every Tuesday and Thursday. So he tried to explain to him where it's at, and he didn't understand, which is totally fine. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, he was like, uh, is this your car? I'm like, no, it's, it's my dad's car, or my mom's car. Uh, I don't know where you're going, Like, this is still can't special summon, so I guess we're just going to kind of sit here until uh, either I get rid of your shit or, or you get rid of your own shit, but... You know, you summoning these monsters that can't get over my thir my 3,000 booty. I don't care. So, it's up to you. You want to get rid of it, or I can just kill you next turn. Because I'm definitely going to go to attack mode, kill you next turn. And uh, do main phase 2 plays. So that's fine as well. Yeah. So, while well, I would love... I, I would lo You're not really a threat anymore. Also, you still can't be destroyed battle. You're not really a threat. So I think I'll just go to attack mode and kill one of you two. But then, of course... He has all these thousand blades when he takes damage and shit like that, so that's kind of irritating as well. So, uh, there's not much I can do main phase two. There's really no like field wiper that DDDs have, so he could probably you know get right back into this duel with it. So I think I might just go ahead, go to attack mode, and attack over someone because I pretty much have to. <laughs> Like, I don't have a choice. I need to get rid of that Vandy's emptiness if I actually want to duel. <laughs> so we'll kill you, then Vanities will go away, and then, yeah, Thousand Blades won't go off because uh, Vanities was still in the field at resolution. And now we're free from Vanities, so that's great. So I can go ahead and fuse again, and I think I might want to. So I'm trying, I'm debating. I'm really debating. Because you're not really a threat anymore. You, He'll probably be able to go into another XE. So I think I'll go ahead and use Necro Slime and go into another Oracle King because I'm kind of tired of getting burned. <laughs> Summon you. Uh, God, if I had a freaking uh, could go for like Siegfried something, but Siegfried isn't good right now at all. <laughs> Siegfried does nothing for me. I think I might leave it like that. No, just leave it like that. I'm getting burned, but I'm not getting burned by, by like too much. And you detach your last material, so now you can be destroyed by battle. You're just a 1500 monster that ain't doing much. Now, it depends on how many, you know, uh, more level 4s you bust out. But it seems like, you know, Goblin Berg summoning another level, f uh, another warrior, another warrior. It seems like you're just going to go right back into another ROM. So, that's fun. <laughs> another one. <laughs> another one. <laughs> so, uh... You know, yes, for license registration, insurance. You know, I've never done anything bad. You know, I had not a blip on my uh, uh, record when it comes to anything. So I uh, handed him the license registration, all that good jazz. Took it back to his car, and uh, uh, wow, crazy box. Do I have 
hell? Fucking crazy box. Like, all right. I haven't seen this card in a cool minute. Since Dark Rebellion came out, I have not seen this guy. Because literally, you only use crazy box for it. Negate the effect of one face of monster and field until it enters turn. Wow. So you're going to negate your own your own effect so you can attack me with a 4,000 beater. Wow. Did he actually roll that? Yeah, he rolled a four. <laughs> That is ridiculous. Oh, and he's going to negate my effect. Like, I guess. What's the point? Uh, like, I guess. I would have negated my own crazy box effects. I can attack with a fucking 4,000 beater because you still can't attack. <laughs> this card cannot attack unless you negate its effect. So, you got the lucky. You got lucky with the roll. Wow. And he was like, I'm going to attack. Like, no, you're not. So, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Fucked up scoop. Fucked up scoop. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, that's plenty enough dueling. It really is 25 minutes worth of dueling. Uh, let me go ahead and wrap the story up because it's pretty much almost over. So, he came back to the car. Ended license registration, and uh, for some reason, Melvin didn't have his uh, his insurance. What, what was it? Registration or insurance in the same package as the registration? So we handed him the license. We handed him, I think, the registration, but we didn't hand him the insurance. Uh, so the officer was walking away, like, "Wait, wait, wait, come back!" Uh, and Randy's like, "Oh, here's the insurance. Like, come back before we get get ticket for not having insurance." And then we, you know, handed the insurance, and then he was nice enough to go ahead and put the insurance and the registration in the same uh, thing. Handed it back to us, handed me my license. He's like, "You're good to go." You know, no ticket, no nothing. <laughs> and just start up the car, drove off. So, yeah. yeah. So, uh, now, I'm, now I'm straight up thug, thug life right now. Uh, I got pulled over by the police. A white guy, too. Uh, and, uh, yeah. I, I, I was wondering if he wanted to, if he wanted to just shoot me point blank or should I, like, attempt to run away and he shoot me? <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. So, now, since I'm straight gangster, I'm not going to take any shit from none of you viewers and subscribers. So, uh, if you, uh... Hit that dislike button. I'm gonna pop a cap in your ass. Is that, is that how you say it? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, right. I'm gonna pop a cap in your ass. And now since I got the officer on my side, he ain't gonna do shit, all right? <laughs> he ain't gonna do shit, you know? We cool, we cool. Me and him are cool. Me and him are cool. All right. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yep. Yeah. Yep. That's exactly what happened. Besides that, just normal day. Normal day. Everything else is just normal. But uh, anyway, I hope that I did okay. I'm, I'm still probably sucking. I really wanted to use this, and I thought, you know, if I run two Pendulum Rising, it's not, you know, it's not one, so I'm not going to number generate it, but it's not three. I mean, I probably dro could drop it down to one number generated because I have a higher chance of getting a Necro Slime and a, and a Lamia. But I was like, two seems like a fine number. Yeah. It's like one, that's number generated. Three, that's just too much, you know? I don't have any. So I was like, let's try it at two. Got it. And as you can clearly see, I don't have a single level one monster. Now, if Swirl Slime was level one too, oh yeah. But I, I still think, you know, with the, with me having a problem with the consistency of getting out that, that, uh, 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 that Kepler. I mean, I just keep on getting one for one. But that's a number generator. I keep on getting that one for one. Just cut, uh, getting that, uh. Yeah, I, I think it's pretty cool to switch out a Lamia, which I want in the graveyard, or a Slime, which I want in the, or a Necro Slime, which I want in the graveyard, for a uh, Kepler who will get some in search and, uh, you know, destroy during the end phase. I don't care. You know, I really don't, because I just want to search, so yeah. So, uh, tell me what you guys think about Pendulum Rising. Tell me what you guys think about the story, how, uh, how thug life I am. I hope that you guys enjoyed this Daily Duels, and uh, if you guys have any more tips and tricks or anything like that, uh, to go ahead and tell me in the comment section below. Uh, I will be back tomorrow playing them fluffs, joined by my tag partner, which you'll find out tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.